Yo, Elliot, my question pertains to the daily and weekly energy balance. Uh, I work multiple physical jobs that puts me at around 50 hours per week on top of lifting and running workouts, which leaves me feeling at times that I just need to lay down and recover from, which leads to the feeling that I'm unproductive. How do I pursue medium to long-term goals while working to the edge of my physical and mental limits every day. So I'm familiar with what you're going through because there are times when I'm just burning myself out too, dude. My dad would say burning the candle at both ends. And in a way, you're burning the candles at both ends. And what, what happens if you imagine like a candle that you're burning, right? Let's say it's a sideways candle. I think that's the only way you can do it, right? And it's, you're burning one end. Well, you know, you're, you're, you're using life force energy. You're using your energy. But when you're burning it from both sides, it's like, well, I'm not even recovering. So I'm using energy. I'm not recovering. And then so you burn out real quick. The candle burns out real quick. And so there are a few things that I want to point out here to you. You say you work multiple physical jobs at about 50 hours per week. Now, you got to do what you got to do, right? Uh, I believe that it's good that you're working. I think it's great that you have physical jobs. And you're a hustler, bro. You're working 50 hours a week. I want to. I really think it's important for me to acknowledge you for that. I think that's important. I think that's great. I wouldn't denigrate that. I would say, keep going, bro. Especially if you're a young man, right? There's no, there's no reason to be bored laying around, uh, self-caring, right? When there's work to be done and that's legitimate. That's okay. That's good. Keep going. Uh, you're lifting and you're running. Cool. So now the, ad, now the stress begins to add up, right? Stress is cumulative, right? Make no mistake about it. Working 50 hours a week, lifting and running is also stress, right? So just think about, think about a bucket. I want to give you this, this visualization. Think about a bucket, right? And your bucket's only so, so big, right? So we're going from candle <laughs> to bucket. And so you fill up your bucket with that 50 hours per week. And that gives you a level of stress. Then you fill it up with the workouts and that gives you another level of stress, right? And then let's say you have alternate projects that you're wanting to work on, right? Uh, you don't give me anything specific, but you say that I'm being unpredictive, uh, unproductive otherwise. So you've got your bucket filled up with 50 hours. You're filling it almost to the brim with working out, right? Having a full-time job, a, pl a full-time plus job, right? And finding time to work out is putting you really close to the limit. And you say that there are times when you feel like all you can do is lay down and recover. Now imagine that bucket, right? There's only so many things that we can do to manage this bucket. And so you're already filling it up. You've decided that these are the two most important things for you, 50 hours per week, working out. I like it, I like it, I think you're okay. You're filling it up. Now, when you listen to your body, when your physiology says lay down and recover, essentially what you're doing is you're maybe putting a, a hole in that bucket, right? Put a hole at the bottom of that bucket. And that water starts to drip out. Stress level starts to come down. This hole is your, is your recovery. Think of it out as your recovery. You're draining out stress. Stress comes in multiple different forms. And so let's talk about that for a moment because I'm sure it's not only two. You're also stressing yourself out with the self-judgment. Uh, I'm lazy. I can't get anything done. I'm unproductive. And you know what? That self beating yourself up, beating yourself up adds to the bucket, right? So what we're looking for is, is, is a manageable amount of stress in that bucket and the ability to release that stress through, through the hole in the bottom. Beating yourself up, uh, not resting when your body is telling you to rest, um, allowing the stresses of the world, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe there's some latent stress due to relationship problems. I'm not saying for you, uh, but for people in general, maybe there's stress due to fear of the of the COVID monster or fears about how the world is unfolding or worries about the future or all these various things. There's mental stress, emotional stress, physical stress, spiritual stress, psychological stress, it's all of it, right? It just is just filling up, it's piling up. And, and then your poor little body is saying, just give me a little rest. 
just a little rest. Just sit down for a moment, please. Just rest for a moment, please. And then you know what you're doing? You're going, ah, body, shut up. I'm being unproductive. No hole, no draining, no getting rid of this stress, no resolving this stress. <laughs> Essentially, that's what you're doing. And so it's just going to blow up in your face. I know that it's sexy to hear people say, put your head down and keep grinding, right? Do a little bit more. Wake up a little bit earlier, right? Uh, I don't think that's always good advice. There are times when, you know, I get questions from some of you guys and you are straight up lazy. There are some guys here that are just straight up lazy. And I got to tell you, when you're lazy, I say, hey, dude, you just got to pick your sword up and get off your ass. But you, my man in a way, are acting like a masochist. You're taking on a lot of pain. You're taking on a lot of challenge. You're taking on a lot of suffering. And you're not giving yourself space to resolve that suffering, resolve that, resolve that stress, and resolve that, that, those challenges in your life through rest. He says, how do I pursue medium to long-term goals while working on the edge of my physical and mental limits every day? I don't think you do. I don't think you do. I think you honor your body. And listen, this is, I'll tell you because this is what I do. It's the most amazing thing. It's actually, it's almost magical what I'm about to share with you. There are times that I'm overdoing it, just like you, maybe in a different way. But I feel my body. I know I have other things that, you know, you say long to medium term goals. I know I have those. Those are there. But I'm busy. And then I notice my body saying, Elliot, just lay down, right? I actually have a bed. That's why I have that bed right there, right? I don't have a hammock in this house. But I, th I, think, I think it's very important for men to lay down. <laughs> lay down at least once a day. Doesn't mean you go to sleep. Doesn't mean you take a nap. Just means you let your body lay dormant and just recover. Even though I have a long list of things that could be added to my life in that instance, if my cup is filling over, my bucket is, is filling up, when I lay down, right, when I lay down the way you say you just want to lay down, and I'm giving you permission, I'm saying, bro, go lay down. When I lay down in that instant, in that place, especially like I think about yesterday in particular, I had to do this because I was almost overwhelmed with all the things I needed to do. I was like, what is too much? So I said to myself, lay down, dude. Laying down leads to some of the most productive outcomes in my life. I've spoken to you guys about the difference between activity and action, right? Activity, most people think they're taking action, but really what they're doing is they're, they're steeped in activity. Activity comes from a place of fear. Activity comes from, oh, I'm not getting enough done. I'm not getting there fast enough. I'm, I'm not where that guy is. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough energy. Arr, I got to do something. And then, you, and then everything that you do is colored by this sentiment, fear, fear, right? That's really what it is. It's fear. Activity is based on fear. Action, bro. Action stems from stillness. All true action, right? The Buddhists say right action. All right action proceeds from stillness. So for example, yesterday, I was active and I had an active mind and I laid down. It don't take much. Now, when I say lay down, I mean not looking at your phone, not ruminating, overthinking. I mean, literally just lay down and let everything go dormant, dead, blank. In that space, in that stillness, I'm accustomed to waiting to receive what I need to do next. With these long and, and medium term goals, you can pursue them, but two things need to happen. You need enough energy, lay down, and you need inspiration, lay down. Lay down so that you can recover your energy and lay down so that you can receive the spark of divine creation. You could have long and, term, medium, long and medium term goals, but not every aspect of achieving that goal is readily available or needing to be done right now, right? And that could be stressful too. Where do I begin with this long term? I have this long term goal. Where do I begin? Well, lay down, lay down. And you know what laying down will do? It will, it will open... It will open your mind, it will open your heart, it will create a space for you then to, in a very grounded way, say, oh, all I need to do when I get up 
is this one little thing. Leverage, leverage, leverage. You know, a big difference between action and activity also. Someone who's steeped in activity is doing low leverage activities. Low leverage, meaning they're just doing everything that they can do because they're insistently needing to move. They need to move. I got to do something. But when you lay down and you allow yourself to be at peace and you meditate on the things that you would like to see done, because you're coming from a place of calm and your body likes to be calm, right? Your body doesn't like to be stressed out. It's going to lead you. It's going to lead you to the next easiest step that you can take. Even if it's, a, this is really important, guys. Even if it's a tiny little action that you need to take, that you can take, that has high leverage ability. Like, so for example, I want to start, a, say I want to start a new project, right? That's going to require websites and, and copywriting and shopping carts. And so all these moving pieces, right? I don't know where to begin. I lay down and the high leverage move can literally be making a phone call. Call one of my, call one of my, one of the one of the guys on my team. Hey buddy, I'm thinking about doing this new project. Would you be available to help me with X, Y, and Z? Sometimes that, and I forget, I forget that, that I can do that. I do because I'm steeped in activity. But when you stop, when you rest, when you allow the divine spark to ignite your inspiration, you're going to know exactly what to do. And it's always going to be seamless, high leverage act, action. Right? And that's really what you want. So I know there's a mouthful here, just getting started here today, warming up. And I want to come full circle and, and just reiterate, give yourself the grace to lay down and rest. You work a physical labor job, 50 hours, you're running and you're lifting, right? You don't, I don't think you need to stop those things. You can back off if you need to, if need be, that's up to your, your, your judgment. I think if you just honor your body's call to rest and not judge yourself, then you're going to recover and you're going to be inspired. Re at all positive action in life all good things come to you ever heard good things come to those who wait good thing comes to those who rest good things come to those who are not anxious who are not striving and reaching and needing and grabbing and clawing and stressing themselves out good thing comes to the guy that works every day like you you're working every day good things come to the guy that works every day and then sits down and waits for inspiration, allows his energy to recover. Uh, really important uh, in, in stark contrast to what maybe you even heard me say to other people or what you see, you know, other, um, you know, advisors on YouTube and whatnot say, I'm giving you permission, my bro. Lay down, take a break, take a break, lay down. I don't say goof off, be a slapdick, do nothing. You're actively recovering. That's an active recovery. It's very important for you to do. So that's it, my man. I hope that helps, bro. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. That sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.